answer the question, it's helpful to give a little bit of background. I've been practicing uh, healthcare regulatory law um, for, for a, a little under 25 years, and the problem of fraud is a pervasive problem in healthcare. And when I think about behavioral uh, healthcare and addiction treatment, for me, it, it really mirrors what we've seen in the broader healthcare uh, regulatory landscape. And the problem, the fundamental problem, is that anytime you have uh, reimbursement opportunities, particularly from government programs and from insurance companies, you're going to draw people. You're not. You're going to draw not only people who are committed to being uh, providing quality care, but also uh, profit-driven behavior. So it's almost it's inherent in any activity, right? That we any commercial activity is at risk of fraud, but. Because, uh, because of the availability of government and insurance dollars that consumers aren't managing the same way that we manage the rest of the things we spend money on, there's, a, there's always there's a historic risk of fraud. Now, uh, and, and, and what we see throughout the healthcare is that anytime there's a new reimbursement opportunity, whether it's, uh, whether it's Im medical imaging, whether it's power wheelchairs, or whether it's addiction treatment, uh, you know, it, it, it eventually, when, when people find out that, the, that there's good reimbursement coming down the pike, it draws the wrong element and it draws aggressive behavior. So what we've seen in behavioral health is that for many years this was, a, this was really a cash pay driven business until the Mental Health Parity Act of 2008 and until the Affordable Care Act really opened the door by including uh, addiction, tr substance use treatment in the, in the, in the, and behavioral, many other behavioral conditions in the definition of minimum essential coverage. So while that was a wonderful thing for patients and for providers who were delivering, who focused on quality of care, it also has invited in a lot of profit-seeking activity. Mm -hmm. um, and so, and what we've seen is that governments, this is really an issue that's regulated primarily at the state level since we're not talking mostly about Medicare and Medicaid dollars although there are certainly some, some of those, but it's ma mainly an issue at the, that's re regulated at the state level, and the states weren't prepared for the onslaught for how, m how much the industry was gonna grow. So what we've seen is that practices that would be uh, tamped down and that would be addressed through by law enforcement and by regulators in other parts of the healthcare economy, among physician services or hospitals, things like uh, paying kickbacks, right? Paying, paying money, pay paying for patient referrals, something that's illegal, uh, uh, everywhere uh, is is a prevalent activity in this industry simply because there hasn't been anybody stopping it, and so and the same the same goes with for medical necessity issues for uh, up and down the line of all the classic healthcare regulatory compliance risks. So as a result, what we're now experiencing is that while the la while while the Affordable Care Act brought this massive uh, 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 opportunity for patients to get care and for providers to get reimbursed. It's also brought uh, a really a backlash of insurance companies basically taking a, a stick and whacking at the industry and trying to uh, challenge left and right. So, you know, I, th I, I mean, I think it's a big question and I'm happy to get into spe su some specific subtopics, but in general, um, you know, the, 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 the issue of fraud is a pervasive issue and I think any provider who's intending to stick around while we go through what we're experiencing, which is a correction in the, on the part of state regulators and insurance companies, uh, uh, and I'm not, by the way, I'm not standing here uh, 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 praising the insurance companies because they, they, they definitely deserve their own indictment for, uh, for denying care to people who need it. But, uh, but they, the bottom line is that providers need to be really mindful of, uh, of a, whole a whole bunch of risk issues which are, not, which are prohibited by law but are, um, but are seeming to persist because nobody's doing anything about them.